it's Miranda. If you hear talking in the background, my husband is doing a D&D session in the other room. It's just what happens. I know that I could look better right now. I have makeup and everything, but it's the end of a long day. Maybe it'll make the story a little funnier. Because I'm going to tell you the story about how um, I got this close to winning a fashion design contest. I almost won a trip to Bryant Park in New York City, which, okay, I'm in New York, I'm just, I'm not in the city. Still, it's been really cool. So, here's the story. What was it? 2006. I was depressed for a number of reasons. One of the things I did to try to keep myself busy, I had a Sudoku book that had a contest in the back, and because I'm good at Sudoku, I was like, why don't I just do that? So I did that, and I sent it in. I was like, let me see if there's another contest, something to do. I went online and I looked up design contests because I was a graphic designer. That was around the time I think that I was realizing that it just wasn't what I thought it was going to be in my head when it comes to making something you love a career. I just figured, let me let me try looking some stuff up. And I saw a fashion design contest. It said calling all like fashion design students or something like that. And I remember thinking, I'm not a fashion designer. I was like, maybe I could just, whatever, just for fun. And it was a Nogzima fashion design contest. Now that sounds strange. It sounds strange to me too. It sounded strange to me at the time. But there were these three characters, very slim. What they wanted you to do was design something for one of the characters. And then write a little blurb. Like, I think it was like 50 words. That they just wanted the design and the little text because I'm a graphic artist and I take things a little bit more literally in general, I decided let's put the whole thing together, use Noxima's current logo that they have, the colors that they have, and just throw it on there. I took the character and literally just clothed her. I had a, a more narrow look on fashion. It was more matchy-matchy. Maybe it'll catch their attention. Maybe nobody else did that. You never know. I was a finalist. <laughs> I was selected one of five finalists. And I was like, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and all the designs were up on the Noxima website. Unfortunately, I do not have a screenshot of that. Or I didn't have the foresight to do a screenshot. Either way, um, it was other people's artwork. I, I wouldn't want to do that anyway at this point. So just know that it was my design and four other very design student, fashion design student looking images. Like it was, they were very sketchy. Like they're not, not sketchy as in old. It looked weird next to each other, but I was so proud of myself. But what ended up happening was I heard nothing. <laughs> saw nothing on the website all I got back and unfortunately I don't have that email either because it's an email that I no longer even have access to all I heard was that uh, the winner has been notified and that was it it was it, it looked very strange to like that looked sketchy I shouldn't say that allegedly uh, they they said that the winner was contacted so okay they were contacted I think I ended up getting like a little Thanks for trying thing. It had like some shave stuff in it. Was that for just doing this? I don't remember now because that's how the story ended, unfortunately. Um, but I know that sounds really crappy, but altogether the point is, even if you're a very unlikely person, there are other people who have proven that better than I have. But this is just another example that I thought I would tell this story only because I found the uh, uh, congratulations, we are pleased to announce you're one of the finalists. I found that letter. In case anyone's feeling down and they don't know what to do, I did this remotely. It was a design contest via email and snail mail, so... I keep hearing, like, while everybody's waiting for things, while everybody's waiting for this one, you can still make things happen. Even if they're not the big things you wanted to. I didn't even talk nearly as long as I thought I would. I know to other people, you rambled, but this is not as long. I inserted as many pictures as I could find, and I'm sorry I didn't have some stuff, but it was 13 years ago. That's the end of my story.
Spotify. I almost, I almost ran upstairs and put concealer and everything, and then I said, no, no, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna look like trash, and I'm gonna tell the story about my fashion design days. <laughs> Probably a couple of months.